Hello all, this is Jared Love, and in part four of this video series, I'm just going to go over a few ideas and suggestions for the pick walking with controller nodes that I came up with while I was experimenting with them. So if you haven't watched them, please go ahead and check out the other videos in this series, since I'll be referencing some of the stuff that I talked about in them. And hopefully it will make its way to the Maya developers to give them a few ideas for some things that they could do with the node to make them a little bit more helpful for the pick walking aspect. So my first suggestion would be to make it to where only one buffer node would be needed to essentially lock off a sibling cycle. <clears throat> because, you know, right now you have to throw in two of them and if there was a way that if it could just do it with one, that would be great because then you wouldn't need to do all these extra buffer nodes to just kind of trick it and fake the system. Or you could do a slight change to the functionality of this cycle walk sibling attribute so that it would basically only cycle through the siblings and not go into any grand siblings if that's checked on. And if that was the case, it would drastically simplify the whole parenting hierarchy, uh, all of this stuff, because you wouldn't have to throw in any of those buffer nodes really. Uh, or at least I wouldn't think you would need to. Or maybe they'd want to add a new attribute, something like cycle children only, something to that effect, so that you would know that once I... Or maybe it would even be on this particular node, so if I grab one of these fingers, it would, it would say something like cycle only with siblings. And so then you could toggle that on for all of these guys and it would know, oh, I'm only going to cycle in with my siblings. And then of course their their children would reference that and stay within that that sibling cycle. So you could essentially get down to this point and lock off everything below it So just by turning on that cycle only siblings on this level. And I suggest using a new attribute because it's generally not a good idea to change the way a an existing attribute works in case somebody is depending on that attribute to work that way in their build scripts or various other tools that they've got. The next thing I would suggest would be adding some attribute to determine the parent or child index for the pick walk up and down. So something like children pick walk index that you could so say in the case of, of an IKFK switch, you could you could have on your IK control a switch attribute that says, you know, IK. That's zero is, is the FK and one is the IK. So then these guys could be parented to that clavicle control and you could say, okay, so for I've got that IK FK switch attribute that I can plug into the child pick walk index attribute so that when you pick walk down it's gonna basically look at that and say okay I'm told to go into zero because I'm in FK and it goes down to the FK child or I'm in IK so it's I'm okay now I'm gonna go down and I'm going to the first child which is the IK child so it would it would help you to s determine which one it would go into to where the user doesn't even have to pick walk up and then over to one or the other. It would just kind of go into it based on what the IK and FK input is. Or for a case like in the spine, you might have a, a situation where you say, okay, I know I'm going to be working in my IK controls, so I just have like a little shelf button that I've written that toggles that attribute to one or zero depending on what my the children are parented underneath it. And the same would go for an upward thing. So these fingers could then have a parent pick walk index attribute that it would say same exact thing. You've got your IK FK switch control here and it says, okay, so my zero parent would be my FK and my one parent would be my IK. Now, something would have to be fixed for <laughs> being able to explicitly specify an order for your uh, for your parent controls because like a, if you remember this guy going up it just kind of 
seems to randomly pick one, whatever it's going to do, even though I made this one the last one that I connected. If you have just two, then the last one that you connect is the one that it pick walks up into. But if you have more than two, it seems that it just kind of randomly picks one, unfortunately. And now for the last suggestion, here in the controller command, and I'm looking at the Python commands, I found there these pick walk down, left, right, and up uh, keyword args, and they say that you can edit them, but I tried every which way I could think of, and, and I could not get it to override the up, down, left, right pick walking that it was doing. So obviously the, the suggestion here, hopefully, is just some way to explicitly set I want this control to go up to this control or I want this control to go over to this control if it's if you can't get it to to go with the the default parent sibling grand sibling methods and that would also help you to where here you could explicitly set okay I want to go up into the IK foot and and it would you can basically set it to always do that. Now it, it would be great if it would also respect that last suggestion I, I said to have another attribute that picks and says, okay, it, it's gonna go into either the one or the zero or three, four, five, however many children you have. And that's pretty much all the suggestions I really have after working with the controller nodes. I think they're awesome. Uh, I think it just needs that just little bit of extra touch to help make them completely usable within Maya and no longer a need to do any kind of additional custom pick walking script. And that, to me, that's the goal. That would be awesome to not have to depend on an additional script that you have to either give to your animators or use the one that they're using or whatever the case may be. Because if Maya can inherently do it, then that's going to be better. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video and for watching the whole video series as well. I really hope it was helpful for you. Feel free to leave any questions or comments. And as always, have a blessed day.